it's Siren Suter. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Siren. Welcome back to my channel. Tree Smitten Kittens, where we talk about cosplay, crafting, and occasional shop talk about cute stuff. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking about cosplay again. Obviously, that's why I'm in cosplay. And sa topic natin ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ay confidence or self-esteem in cosplay. So, nakikita ko karamihan sa newbies, even sa mga mas matagal na sa cosplay na problema nila lagi is they actually really feel insecure in cosplay. They feel hideous or feeling nila patatas lang sila compared to everyone else in the community. And the truth is, uh, this hobby actually is challenging for people with self-esteem issues. So, as someone who has been there, who also struggles with the same things, I just want to share my pointers or my experiences for everyone else. So, if you're interested, please keep watching. Probably a lot of you. My name is Sarin. That's obviously a pseudonym. That's my cosplay name. And I have been cosplaying since 2010. So I cosplayed that and that and that. Anyway, on topic natin ngayon, as I said earlier, is confidence in cons <laughs> is confidence in cosplay. So, sa totoo lang, obviously, yung cosplay hobby is very front-facing. And when I say front-facing, kita agad ng tao ito. Ayan. Choo -choo. Yung, it's usually face and body. Unless lagi kang nag-cosplay na naka-mask or balot ka ng armor. It's always, uh, people are always gonna see your appearances. It's a hobby that's very focused on appearance. And for a lot of people that may increase their self-esteem because there's a lot of people that look so normal and plain in daily life but when they borrow the personality, the looks, and try to transform into someone else through cosplay, it, the confidence off the roof. That, that's what's a great thing about cosplay. Like You feel really good about yourself for a day. You forget that you're yourself. You can pretend to be someone else for a day. And that really helps people's self-esteem. But at the same time, since people always see your appearance nga in this hobby, it can also damage your self-esteem and make you feel insecure about yourself. Because to begin with, you're trying to copy or you're trying to dress up as a fictional character, even if they're 3D or portrayed by real people, like Hollywood actors. Hollywood actors look incredible because their job really is to look good. They have access to gyms, they work out. So, medyo mahirap to compare to them. Or you might be cosplaying 2D characters, which we know have impossible <laughs> body standards. Like, how do they have those massive boobs that so it no waist? And the, the like the massive Dorito chains was that you're trying to cosplay fictional characters. They're not real. They look impossibly good. So more often than not, we feel it might make you feel insecure about yourself. If you're not insecure about how you look versus the character. Then you're always gonna see other cosplayers cosplaying the same thing. There might be comparisons made. Even if other people don't compare you to them, you might end up comparing yourself to them once you see them a lot. Like, you see them on your newsfeed, you see them when you're browsing online. And you might feel ang ganda ng cosplay niya compared sa akin, yung akin parang patatas na ng pasos sa lapag. So yun. So yeah. So cosplay can help confidence, but it can also really destroy people's confidence. Let's be honest about that. So my first advice is gonna be in regards to that what we just spoke about just now. But you have to acknowledge that yung facial and body standards set by these fictional 
worlds is kind of unrealistic, especially for women. Because I've seen girls starve themselves to get their ideal body shape. So you have to acknowledge na the source material in itself is not realistic. Uh, I can even say the same for males because a lot of anime men are impossibly good looking and there are a lot of good looking men here. But for an average guy, we can only do our best, but we're not gonna completely become fictional characters, okay? What matters the most first is your own health and your mental health. Uh, one thing I notice is cosplayers naman are aware of this, that they're aware that working out, dieting, and makeup can only take them so far. What's usually harsh on cosplayers is people who don't cosplay. Hindi sila aware na like, tao din kami. We're not the re- we're not fictional characters, so we're never gonna look like that, okay? So if you're not a cosplayer and you're listening to me and you have these impossible standards on cosplayers, You're part of the problem why a lot of cosplayers are feeling insecure or having mental health issues. Okay, rant over. (laughs) I want to say that if you cosplay for like validation, getting attention, being accepted by your peers, or feeling good about yourself, there's absolutely nothing wrong about that. Nothing wrong about that at all. I mean, who doesn't want to be famous for the right reasons, right? Or who doesn't want to be appreciated? That's perfectly fine. But if it gets to the point that you kind of obsess over numbers and figures or whether people compliment you or not, I think a healthy way to deal with the feeling of insecurity is you might want to change your goals when it comes to cosplay. And by redefining your goals, what I'm trying to say is first off, you have to acknowledge that your goal of validation, being recognized or famous, is actually a tough goal to satisfy. Because when are you gonna say that you're actually recognized or that you're accepted? Tarang, it's hard to put an actual milestone for that. So for me, I also reached a point na, like I wanted people to like, accept me, recognize me, take photos with me, know my name. But it got to a point where it was an unhealthy mindset for me. So I went back to the reason I actually started cosplaying. I just reflected back on it. And it's actually because I like making stuff. I like crafting stuff. So if my goal is just to craft stuff and bring the character I love to life, then it's an easier goal to satisfy. So it doesn't leave me feeling like I'm a failure or I'm disappointed. And if you insist that that's the goal that you want, you have to set a benchmark for yourself to say that you actually are fulfilling it. Because some people say this a lot. They want to be accepted. But they don't define what is accepted to them. For me, the benchmark I set was if one person just recognized what I'm cosplaying or when I meet one fan of the same series, then my goal is met. So for me, it helps if you verbalize something in a clear goal. Yung nami measure mo talaga, it's like if you put something very defining, then maybe you can actually accurately measure if you're being successful or not. And you can be realistic with yourself if your goal is too tough, then what happens is you adjust that goal to something more attainable for yourself. So, ayan, I hope that made sense. First off, I want to tell an experience I had when I first started cosplaying. This was kind of in 2011. I was cosplaying a character from Fire Emblem. So it's kind of an obscure game at that time and walang nakakilala ng character at all. I kind of felt sad because wala masyado nagpa-picture sa akin because it's facts na if hindi famous yung character mo or hindi mainstream, wala masyado magpapapicture sa'yo. A few days or weeks later when I got home and long after the event was done, someone messaged me on Facebook and said na I saw your lead cosplay. In ToyCon, I am so excited. I have not met another cosplayer of this game at all. So sobrang pagpa fanboy ko, hindi na ako nakapagsalita, nakupa picture na lang ako. It made me realize one thing, and that's you, your cosplay might have cheered someone up, or it probably made someone stay, but you never got to know it because they were too shy to tell in that moment or like they don't know how to reach you or or like nila nila nasabi because this is the truth like even 
ikaw sa sarili mo, i-observe mo, when you see a picture that you really like on your newsfeed right now, it's oftentimes people just click a uh, like or click a heart button, they just double tap. But it's hard to get people to leave a comment or to leave a sincere message na, I like this photo, this photo made my day. Like, especially sa Filipinos, they're kind of not used to complimenting in person. Except if they're extremely extroverted. So, yeah. So, one thing you can tell yourself is that you're never sure. You never know that your cosplay might actually be inspiring someone else. To someone who took a photo of you in the convention, they probably treasure that photo because they like your cosplay or you were their favorite character. Or better yet, to some kid who saw you at a convention, you probably made them really happy. You probably made their childhood. Or even if it's just a parent with their kid asking to take a photo of you, kahit wala naman silang alam, they just think you're Barbie. When you're feeling down about your cosplays, just imagine, you might never know how your cosplay actually inspired someone. You know, you, you never know. Is, there's this line in Desiderata, wow, wow, poetry, there will always be greater and lesser persons than yourself. So in cosplaying, I think it's easier if we accept that all the time there's always gonna be senpais or more um, cosplayers further along than us. Even if it's kinda unfair, like sometimes, I mean, I'm a veteran cosplayer and I see newbie cosplayers who are more popular than me all the time. and. As a veteran, sometimes it feels like, well, but nasikat na sila sa akin. I've been doing this since 2010. Maybe because mas bata lang kasi sila, mas maliit pa kasi waistline nila. I feel that way all the time. Sometimes, but then you, I kind of just roll with it. At this point, I accept na it's a fact of life. So yun, but at the same time, you should also consider that there's always gonna be people below you, and I don't say below you in a demeaning way. So even if you're totally a newbie cosplayer, like, kaka-start mo pa lang, isa pa lang costume mo, is shiny pa yung wig mo, there's always gonna be a person who looks up to you regardless of your skill level. That's true, that's really true. Because even if, even if I said like you're a total newbie, there's gonna be someone out there who thinks you rock and you're cool. Because this person wants to cosplay but they can't. Like either they have no money, they don't have the guts to do it. To this person, you're a cosplayer. Like you're, you're amazing. So you're better off than someone who's been wanting to cosplay since forever. And then they just don't get to do it. Like you actually cosplay, diba? You're already above a number of people who are scared of a wig or haven't even started just ordering their costume because that's all they have to do. Yun, ang dali dali ng umorder ng cosplay ngayon if they actually wanted to cosplay. So for the people who want to do it but don't get to do it for many reasons, a person who actually has done it. Wow, imagine how far you've come. You used to be one of those people. So yun, whenever you feel down about yourselves, always just think na you're actually doing this. And that already sets you apart from where you were before you started doing this. So yun, just a little pep talk from me. Yes, Holmes. Another cosplaying confidence confidence hack I do all the time is when I'm cosplaying a character and I would just emulate that character, okay? People know this, I tend to cosplay badass girls or strong female characters. And that's because I'm not strong. <laughs> I would say I'm not strong in real life. I'm very, uh, I'm more reserved 
and shy than the characters are I cosplay. So once I put that costume on, parang you know, it's like channeling their spirit. If you if you play Ace Attorney, you kind of channel them. They kind of borrow their their strength. So if the character I cosplay will not care what other people say to me, even if I'm in the convention, because they're tough women. You have to think that like for the creator, for this character, or for the creator of this series, they would really appreciate your effort as a fan into putting all this work into a cosplay. But yeah, so those are kind of my advice. First off, set uh, realistic standards, set easier standards, and then acknowledge that people don't always compliment very easily. Mm -hmm. Try to channel the character you're cosplaying, think of how the creators will feel, set more attainable goals, always acknowledge that there are people who think you rock and look up to you regardless of your skill level in cosplaying. All, if all these advices don't work, if you find that cosplay is still making you feel bad about yourself, that it's bad for your mental health, it's just worsening your self-esteem issues, a lot of people experience this. And I think it's important to know when to quit. It's never a bad idea to take a break from a hobby, whether it's cosplay or any hobby. The time when you're away from the hobby and when you reflect and when you reevaluate what's important to you, and that's what you can come back and be with a, with a fresher perspective and change your outlook on things. For me, I used to really want to go all in sa cosplaying. I used to cosplay more often, go on shoots more often. But over time, it kind of made me feel insecure about myself. I mean, it. I think I'm a moderately okay cosplayer, but it's when you always see other people cosplaying, lagi silang may bago, lagi silang they all look gorgeous. It, does a number on your self-esteem and you always end up comparing yourself to the people who are also your friends. I just reflected back on why I cosplayed and then I also realized that because I'm actually really introverted, when lagi kang may bagong cosplay and trying to attain certain level of fame or likes, it requires that you always be public, lagi kang may bagong gawa, you interact with people. I realized that actually that's not something for me because I'm more introverted nga. So, it's actually better for my mental health if I don't cosplay as much or as often. Also, minsan if our insecurity problems are a little too much and you find that cosplaying is only making it worse, it's good to actually take a step back and um, address the root of those problems before you might want to go back in. And so, yeah, I hope this video helped you tackle your self-esteem issues when it comes to cosplay. If you have any questions or comments about this topic, please feel free to comment in the comment section down below. If you have any any other questions for me or may gusto kayong hingin advice, whether it's about cosplay, crafting, or life in general, feel free to comment down below or email me at sarinsuter at yahoo.com. I might feature your question in a next video. So thank you so much for watching.